What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and the woke Disney defenders have entered the chat after, well, apparently, <laughs> I'm not sure what this guy was thinking, honestly. Um, the star of the Aladdin remake um, dropped some truth bombs about nobody really caring about the Little Mermaid remake. Now, <clears throat> I could be wrong. One of the things that I have been consistently wrong on is people's appetites for live action remakes. I remember when I saw like the Lion King live action remake, I was like, who in the heck is gonna watch this? It made like a billion dollars. Aladdin live action remake. Again, who's gonna watch this? I think I'd rather watch the Will Smith one. Didn't Will Smith make an Aladdin one? I don't remember. It's not, uh, it's not, it, what? Nobody, who wants this? Made a billion dollars. Well, apparently, like in an unprovoked um, <laughs> comment, the actor from The Little Mermaid, or I'm sorry, from Aladdin, absolutely roasted. You'll see, uh, it's all in response to basically earnings, right? There's this tweet. The Little Mermaid is tracking to earn $115 million on its domestic bo uh, office Domestic box office opening weekend. In comparison, Aladdin earned $112 million on its opening. To be honest with you, the amount of years that are, are different uh, with inflation, I would consider this a failure. And in fact, you look at a lot of the replies, if it only makes that compared to Aladdin, it should be considered a major failure. They're saying Aladdin went on to be a billion dollar film. I'm going to love watching this movie tank. Disney needs to stop these remakes already and try to come up with some original content. I'm not sure if it's going to tank or not, but it doesn't look like a good movie. I do agree that Disney remakes are getting out of hand. I think that there's, you know, you're going to have, you know, I, I don't know because a lot of the initial backlash of the movie was of course uh, race swapping Ariel, um, but the movie just doesn't look very good in general. It's hard to kind of predict exactly how Disney movies are going to do these days because sometimes they just do good in spite of themselves, especially if there's nothing going on, like no competition, right? Ariel the Mermaid just pounded the real-life Aladdin into submission, or more accurately, her fans did. This after the dude juxtaposed his flick with hers. Well, I mean, I don't think he was supposed to. I think he was responding to news reports, and it pissed a lot of people off. Mena Masood, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, who played everyone's favorite street rat in 2019 live action adaptation, just scrubbed his entire Twitter account due to a mountain of backlash he received Saturday for chiming in on the future box office prospects of Halle Bailey's new Little Mermaid movie. It was, he was responding to an account. So again, he wasn't like firing an un, like uh, he wasn't firing a shot like uh, unprompted. He was responding to somebody. He was responding to an account that was reporting on how much The Little Mermaid was slated to make in its opening weekend, about $115 million when it compares to his $112 million Aladdin made in its opening weekend run. Mena had some thought. Some took it as, Mena had some thoughts. Some took it as shade. He wrote, Our film was unique and that audiences went to watch it multiple times. It's the only way we reached a billion-dollar mark with our opening. Aladdin went on to make $1.054 billion internationally, and its initial box offers numbers were considered a big win. He wrote, <clears throat> Our film was unique in that audience went to see it multiple times, the only way we reached a billion without, with our opening. My guess is The Little Mermaid doesn't cross the billion dollar mark, but will get, undoubtedly get a sequel. Based? Does anybody disagree with that? Then came the remark that he got that got attacked. He followed with my guess is it'll still get a sequel. Um, it's unclear if he followed with any clarification on he meant, but this alone got Halley's fans up in arms. You can hop on into the Aladdin trend yourself and see what they're saying, but basically the reaction wasn't good. Some felt Mena's comment here was a cheap shot and suggesting that Little Mermaid wasn't actually worthy of any future success, including a possible sequel. Nah, I don't think that's what he's saying at all. Others are also saying that Mena sounded a little salty over the fact that he hadn't been cast in much post-Aladdin and that he still hung up on other criticism 
that the movie received, and there was a lot. Bottom line, he was getting dragged through the coals over this. As a result, Mena appeared to have deleted his Twitter account. The OG Twitter comment is gone, and his page is inaccessible now. So it seems any of the discourse may have gotten to him. Part of the reason for his fierce response to his parents' slight might have to do with the fact that the Little Mermaid has been in the crosshairs of hairs of haters since day one. The whole thing is absurd. I mean, look, the the, the race swapping received rightful backlash. Uh, Ariel is, you know, it's just you know, white people are the only people that are acceptable to be uh, upgraded according to Hollywood. Uh, Halle Bailey may have been the best person for the tale, but this is, you know, I, it's, it's an obvious, like it's just one of those more obvious kind of woke decisions. Like, oh, got to have, can't have another white ah, princess, can't have that, can't have another white main character in Disney. Uh, we see this with Netflix, whether it's Cleopatra or was it Anne Boleyn or Queen Elizabeth or something. Um, in, in particular, any redhead, for whatever reason, uh, gets erased in Hollywood. And it's specifically replaced by African-American actors and actresses. You should probably look into that. But anyway, um, people are coalescing around the movie and hoping that it does numbers because of the larger implications. Namely, more POC cast in iconic roles. Thank God. Um, and a shift for Hollywood. What's wild about this is like, are you are you crazy? Like, POCs star nearly every major role, or not necessarily POCs, but I would say um, um, underrepresented actors and actresses. Every new show, like there are no new shows full of white people. That that is not something that Hollywood does anymore. They're acting like this. this TMZ is acting like this is something that you know is is a still a current problem, but it isn't. You see, comic book. Dot com running the little mermaid aladdin star reacts to live action box office projection i mean you see obviously i just think like what do you think disney movies will oftentimes make a billion dollars in spite of themselves but nowadays that's really not the same as it used to be because you used to have um you know automatic hits but then you saw Lightyear uh stunk it, it tanked at the box office, but it sure had a girl on girl kiss. So that was cool. Um, you know, I think the little mermaid is, is probably going to do well. Will it do a billion? I would honestly be very surprised if it did, but you never really know. You see Disney fans raging because Aladdin dropped a truth bomb on them. Uh, it is too bad. He ran away and he probably just completely, uh, destroyed his career. Like he, he's probably never, he's, he's not getting cast again. He, like he's going to go back to, he's going to have to go to like Bollywood or something. Uh, there's just no way you look at the TMZ. A lot of the replies here, who cares who Ariel is, is for the audience and children to enjoy and cultures. I mean, it isn't though for that, is it? It's, it's so they can, you know, say, Oh, look, another POC actor, actress, and, and all this kind of stuff. And you see here, like, uh, fear from Sophia Narwitz, the actor from the live action Aladdin speculated that the little mermaid wouldn't cross a billion dollars. And even though he made no mention of race, nor did he express that he wants it to fail. He was dogpiled with accusations based around race. He has since deactivated his account. That's that, you know, of course, oh, more racism. Dang. He should have apologized for his whole tweet instead of deleting his account. Like they say, play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Mina Masood or Masad shouldn't pin against POC that lead Disney films. That's just wrong. He had nothing. He didn't say anything about POCs, did he? Um, it's it's just that the way that a lot of people are programmed in in kind of the modern day is they're obsessed with race. As a fellow Torontonian, this pettiness is beneath you. And seeing how Hollywood Machine has treated you since, you should hush. As a black woman with natural red hair, I hope this movie is successful. What? What percentage of, of, of black women out there have natural red hair? Legitimate, legitimate question. You know, and like, I, I just, I don't understand. Man had an opinion and shared it. That'll learn him. 
Uh, I'm almost 100% positive Disney cast a black woman solely so people won't be able to criticize the film without being called racist. Well, that is uh, a very powerful form of uh, armor, certainly, uh, in modern day. I mean, you know, against POC, against they consider him white now. Yeah, they must consider him white. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't really understand... Um, you know, they, they're trying to say, oh, he's anti-black because he replied, everyone knows the movie industry doesn't care for black people and even less for brown people. Exhibit Dev Patel, I don't know any of these, oh, oh Mena Masood, that's guy. Black artists have the highest representation for minorities in Hollywood followed by Asians, Latin Americans, Native Americans, and in last place, North Africans. I I don't know. I, I, I think people are just so obsessed I think a lot of this is keyed up by Disney to try and build buzz so that people pay Disney $15 to totally own the racists. Don't get sucked into that. It's just as, it's just as bad when the right does it too. Ooh, own the libs with my $9 chocolate bars. Don't do that. Um, you know, Spend your money on companies that care about earning your money and putting out a good product. Disney hasn't cared about that in a long time. So it'll be interesting to watch Shakedown. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on it. And we'll talk to you again real soon.